Hello everyone, welcome back. This is a new lecture in your course, Linux for Absolute Beginners by Idionix. My name is Ahmed and in this lecture we are going to discuss how we can install Ubuntu as a standalone operating system on your machine. And, and in this lab we are going to see how to install Ubuntu on a machine, on a physical machine, as well as how to install it on a virtual machine. And both of them actually have this, the very same procedure. Actually, working with a virtual machine might be a little harder than working with a physical machine because on a physical machine, you don't have, you don't have to adjust anything. You just buy the hardware, insert the CD or the DVD in the drive, and proceed with the installation. But with a virtual machine, you will have to adjust the hardware first. So let's do just that. I am working here with VirtualBox, which is absolutely freeware. You can download it from the internet. So let's create a new machine from here. And we are going to call it Ubuntu. Two, because we already have another machine installed here I'm using it in the labs in this course so I'm gonna I'm gonna create a new one called Ubuntu 2 and of course the type is Linux and version is Ubuntu 64-bit VirtualBox has automatically selected those settings for us because we have chosen the name Ubuntu let's continue and I do recommend that you give it at least one gigabyte of memory in order to have a nice graphical interface now we're gonna create a new hard disk a new virtual hard disk choose the VDR virtual disk image dynamically allocated and the reason and the difference between dynamically allocated and fixed size is that this will save you some space in that it will only take up the space used by the disk up to the limit that you have set so here we have set the the disk to be an 8 gigabyte disk this means that it cannot take any more space other than the 8 gigabytes that you have allocated for it if you have a fixed size it will take the whole 8 gigabytes whether or not the system is actually using them. So dynamically allocated, of course, is a much better choice to, to save some space. Let's create it. Now the next step is that you will have to insert the CD in order to start the installation. And the CD is present in the storage section here of the machine. As you can see here, this is the controller IDE. And as you can see here, the icon of the CD is present, which means that the IDE controller here is holding the CD drive. And all what you have to do now is press on this I can here and you can either choose a file choose a virtual disk virtual optical disk file and you can browse for the ISO file of Ubuntu or if you have already installed it before you will find it here in the recently used files so I already used Ubuntu 16.04 desktop dash amd 64.iso file so I'm gonna just select it and I'm gonna press OK and that's everything you need in order to start the installation just press on the start to start the machine and you don't even have to press F12 and choose the boot device because naturally you don't have any boot devices except the CD. The hard drive that you have does not contain any operating systems. Now as you can see here Ubuntu is starting the same way it did in the previous lecture when you have installed it side by side with Windows. And again we have the screen whether to try or install Ubuntu. This time we're gonna install it directly because we have seen already how we can use the live CD in the previous lecture. So you're going to click install. Okay, we have seen this before. We're not going to download or install any third-party software. And now we have a different set of options. Because this is a bare new disk, it has no operating systems installed, then the only option you have, or the default option that you have, is to erase the disk and install Ubuntu. You're going to install Ubuntu on the whole disk because you don't have, because naturally you do not have any other operating systems installed. You can also have the option to encrypt the Ubuntu installation. This will make your hard disk encrypted. And of course, this option was not available when you installed Ubuntu side by side with Windows because encrypting the disk while Windows installed means that Windows will no, will no longer be able to boot because the drive will get encrypted. And you also have this option. You can check here and we're going to use the LVM with the new Ubuntu installation. LVM stands for Logical Volume Management. It is just a way of dynamically sizing your disks because if you're going to have more than one partition, if you're going to have more than one file system for your files and directories, the using LVM will allow you to dynamically resize those partitions to make, for example, the slash var partition larger or smaller. You can shrink it or you can, res or you can expand it the way you like. But for the sake of demonstration, we'll keep it simple. We're, gonna, we're not going to use LVM, and we're not going to encrypt the Ubuntu installation. And we're going to just go ahead with the default setting. Again, it's given, it's given us the notice that the following changes are going to be done. Again, it's going to create the SDA. 
it's going to create the primary partition as an, ex and as an ext4 formatted file system and the other partition is going to be a swap so let's continue with that okay and the rest of the installation is exactly the same as it was in the previous lecture so i'm going to go through them quickly okay now the installation is finished i will click restart now and notice that this time we're going to be presented with the screen that gave us the options as to which operating system to boot with because we only have one operating system installed now which is ubuntu sometimes we may need to reset to see the machine after the first installation as you can see here ubuntu has been selected automatically because there is there is no other operating system installed and let's log in okay and now we have successfully installed ubuntu you can use whatever features you have now the system is ready that brings us to the end of this section in Linux for Absolute Beginners by Edionics. My name is Ahmad. I hope you enjoyed this section and see you next. Thank you.